Yeah. So. Hello. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today live on Facebook, Facebook Live. My name's Craig. I'm from um, mansioningles.com. And with me is Monica. Monica, would you like Monica? to introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, my name is Monica, and I'm from Blog del Inglés, also known as Blog para Aprender Inglés. Okay. Okay, and um, we're here doing this. Why are we here doing this? Why are we on Facebook Live? We thought because of the current situation with the virus, many people are trapped at home, many people can't go out and do things, and hopefully we'll be able to give you some advice and tips and recommendations for things that you can do to improve your English while you're stuck at home during the during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, before we go into that, before we do that, if anyone is watching who tried to connect with me on Monday doing the live Zoom chat that was a bit of a disaster, I'm sorry about that. It was my first experiment after many years to do an open Zoom chat. So if you are from the Facebook group or if you did come in from Twitter, I'm really, really sorry that some trolls came in and tried to spoil it for us. So even though maybe this isn't as effective as an open chat where you can speak, we all, we do hope, Monica and I hope that it will be helpful for you with, with your English. So Monica, what um, how can we help people? What recommendations well, do we have? Uh, let's talk a little bit about ourselves also, what we're doing, because I think um, people like to know about what we do, okay? Uh, as I said, I'm the author of a blog para aprender inglés, and I teach English online for already many years. I think I've been online for 14 years already, so it's a long time. And I, I, I'm very used to being at home and to work from home. So one of the things I I want to say is that for me, what really helps is to have a routine. Probably you heard this many times, but I'm. It's very important to have a routine, to get up at a certain hour, of the, to do, uh, to have breakfast, to start your work, and and then you can schedule your uh, time for studying English. Okay. Um, and uh, do you have any other tips? What do you do, for example? What is your routine, Craig? My routine, my morning routine, is I try to get up at a, a set time every morning um yes. it used it used to be seven o'clock now it's half past ten <laughs> i'm getting up really late i'm going to bed really late i'm watching too much netflix i'm watching too much tv and my bedtime has my my, my morning routine has completely disappeared so i'm finding it difficult to get into some kind of routine and i think um some people might be having the same problem what do you do monica to make sure that you keep to the exercise routine that you keep well, your morning routine I set? An, an advantage in my advantage is that i'm an early bird so in madrugadura and and so for me i'm not a night owl i, I well if i take a nap for example i can stay longer but um, being an early bird, I like to get up early and, and start working. I, I must say that I lost some company, some, some students in the morning. So I'm starting a new routine now because I don't have the, the, the morning classes that I used to have. Right. And, and, and then now what I think is very important is to do exercise. In the past, I was always going out. I cannot go out now. So what I do is Zumba. <laughs> in the morning i just change different videos from different places and i dance and i ha this is my studio for dancing also <laughs> so that's, it, it, exercising is so important because if yeah. you don't move i really at the end of the day it's like whoa i don't feel well so that that is why i exercise mostly because i'm thinking about that that yeah. it's not going to be okay the next day so mm -hmm. that that helps me push myself and say go 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 and then that's, um yeah no, that's you, something you, that's something i need to to start doing i'm going to take a leaf out of your book if i take a leaf out of monica's book yeah. that means i start to do things that she's doing because it will be better for me just want to say a quick hello to people who are joining us live in the chat room adriana marcas hi thanks for joining um Landa, thank you for joining hello katia 
Maline, Peña, Martinez. Hello, Claudia, Alejandro, Gemma, Alejandro, Benavides. Hi, Claudia. Rofi, I, I want to wow. say, sorry, you, I want to say hello to to Samuel, <laughs> my favorite Samuel. student. Yeah, Samuel is there. He's always with me, and we've been doing classes together. So. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Uh, <laughs> Carlos, hello, Adriana uh, Marcas. Mm. Danny, hi, Danny. Thanks for joining. Mm. Samuel Blazquez Gomez, hi. Yeah. Adolfo Diaz, Samuel Blas yeah, 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 the same guy. How did he come in twice? The same guy twice. <laughs> I don't know. Craig, Craig is not oh, an early bird, says Samuel. No, I'm not. I'm a late, I'm a very late bird. Is a night owl. That's the opposite of an early bird. <laughs> okay. I, I never used to be. I never used to be. But because of the situation where I can't go outside, I can't have my daily routine, yeah. I've been staying up later. So that's that's yeah. not so healthy. Gloria, hello. Thanks for joining. Um, and Berta as well. So, so many people joining us. That's fantastic. So, Monica, let's get into the recommendations and advice that we have for people. Uh, okay. We mentioned Netflix. Um, I've just finished watching Ozark season three, which I really, really enjoyed. So if you have, um, if you have Netflix, try Ozark. You might like it. How should people watch films and TV series? Because some may be watching in original version with Spanish subtitles. Is that a good idea? Should they be watching with English subtitles or with no subtitles? What's the best way for them to watch? Do you think? It depends on your level. Okay, right. if you're just starting, you need the subtitles because you get bored. It's yeah. just, just, just like just sounds. So you need the subtitles. Use the subtitles at the beginning. Try to uh, you can you can listen in two watch in two ways actually. You can watch. There's too much light on my face. Okay, there. Um, you uh, you can listen in two ways. One is active, and another one is passive. For watching. Active is, means that you just watch a little bit and, and then concentrate on that and work on the verbs, work on the vocabulary. And, and passive is, is just try to get the idea. You don't, don't concentrate on a, every detail. So it's good to have a notebook next to you and try to write down some words just yeah. to remember. And one of the Not, great one second, themes, Monica. Sorry, one second. Ma Maria Barca says, I really oh, love the marvelous yeah. Mrs. Maisal, but she speaks so fast. What you could do is watch it in Spanish, dubbed in Spanish first. Get an idea uh -huh. of what's happening, get an idea yeah. of the story, and then watch it a yeah. second time in English for the accent and the vocabulary. You can watch the same thing two or three times, and each time you'll be picking up more from the audio so that's one possibility sorry i interrupted you no but you you have to be i was i wanted to say you have to be very patient yeah that's the way you do it one time two times and that's why it's important that you like the series because if it is something you have to pick a series that you really like for example yes. i i loved the stranger things me too I, I i don't know why but i was just immediately hooked enganchada yeah. The first day, I was like, wow, one time, two time, I could just watch, watch it. <laughs> I don't know. So just um, be patient. One, Look one, for comment, something that, one mm -hmm. comment from Sylvia. Sylvia says that yeah. she needs subtitles. My husband doesn't know English. No, okay. Well, yeah. you could have Spanish subtitles and then original version. So your husband could read the Spanish subtitles and you're listening to the English. I don't recommend people who are on their own by themselves watching with Spanish subtitles because the tendency is to read to the Spanish and then you block out your ears close and you block out listening to the English. So my suggestion would be if you're on your own to listen in English with English subtitles, if possible. Yeah, Obviously, if, if your partner, if your partner doesn't understand any English, then you yeah. have to for, for him or for her have, have some subtitles mm -hmm. in Spanish, but yeah. Yeah. But we didn't talk about how to study, how to organize your day. Mm -hmm. So uh, should we just go on to that now? Yep, let's uh, talk about that. What suggestions do you have? Uh, I want to say, the first thing I want to say is, it's very important to have a strategy, okay? What are your goals? Is your goal to pass an exam? Is your goal to be more fluent? Is your goal to increase your vocabulary? Please be very, very specific about what you're going to do. 
because the more specific you are, the more success you're going to have. Because if you just say, oh, I'm going to learn English, it's not going to work because it's, <laughs> you can learn so many things and then you get bored and you don't know where to go. Be very, very specific. Think about it. Oh, okay, do I want to pass the exam after the lockdown? Uh, okay, what am I going to do? How much time do I have during the day? What hours are the best hours to study for me? Is it in the morning? For some people in the mornings, for some people in the evening. So have your schedule ready. Say, uh, uh, try to plan your day with, with uh, specific uh, exercises every day. Um, and then baby steps. Take baby steps because English is too broad. There are too many things to learn. Um, baby steps means little things. Just do little things. Like, for example, five verbs, five phrasal verbs. Mm -hmm. uh, one, just one listening per day. Okay. And reward yourself when you have completed that, that, that assignment. If, if you, you say, for example, five phrasal verbs. Okay. Just learn it. Chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> Pe chocolate. One piece of chocolate for fi five phrasal verbs. That's 35 <laughs> pieces of chocolate a week. Okay, <laughs> okay that's great. Uh, I wouldn't do that because you're going to get fat. But I would say anything that you like. Okay, and now I'm going to watch a film or whatever. Okay, so reward yourself. What other tips do you have, Craig? Um, um, well, one, one of my tips will be to go to this website, which has a lot of resources oh. for your English. That's blog.english.com. Oh. That's Monica's <laughs> blog. So if you <laughs> don't know... A new blog, because I have two you, blogs, you know. Uh, oh, you have two blogs. Yeah, there, there was the old blog, Blog for Aprender Inglés. That was a blogger, but I had to move to WordPress because it was too old and I couldn't update it. So this is the new uh, address. So it's a Blog del Inglés. Okay. And there there's lots, of, there. lots there of resources, of lots yes. of resources there, lots of things yeah. to do. And yeah. also mentioningles.com is our website where you can find also free resources, listenings, um, courses, complete courses to do at home. And as Monica said, you can plan out your day and use those resources to learn English. And someone in the chat rooms just said, um, thank you for our podcast. Our podcast is at inglespodcast.com. That's another good resource for listening. So maybe listen to one episode per day. Um, and, and you, and all, to, you, and you have podcasts me. too, Monica. Bro. Yeah, Bro. I have uh, with David, um, Your Way. Okay, well, we, we recorded about 25 episodes. You can, you can still profit from that. Mm -hmm. It's on the blog. Uh, and I wanted to say about Craig. He has this wonderful British accent that uh, is very easy to understand and teacher's accent. <laughs> so you can you can benefit from that. Um, Thank you. So what other uh, what other things? Well, for writing, there's a very good website, especially writing. if you're preparing for an exam. Now okay. we know that a lot of exams have been um, postponed; they've been delayed because of the problems with the virus at the moment. Cambridge exams obviously are not happening, and probably your schools, your colleges, your academies have postponed their exams, but that doesn't mean you should stop studying for them. And for writing, this site is very good. You can submit a writing, you do a writing depending on your level, and they will give you feedback on your writing. And it's a free website. So that's definitely uh, recommended for your writing. What else do we have for listening, Monica? Uh, okay, listening. We have, um, why don't you mention your, uh, the sites that you can recommend? Okay, well, what, one that's very good for exam practice and general listening is virtuaule.com. That's a very good website that has many listening activities. And another one is um, ESL Lounge that has listening activities also for, um, for different levels. And another one that I don't have the website for ready, but it's examenglish.com, exam English has a list of Cambridge exams, I think also IELTS and other exams. They have exam a very English good selection comes, of exam, yeah. exam English. Exam English comes on top all the time. When you, yeah, when you search for it, you're always going to find it on top of Google. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my recommendation for low intermediate students, because there, there, there's a lot of material for high intermediate and advanced students, but it's difficult to find material for low intermediate and beginners. So for me, um, 
one one site that I really recommend is uh, Voice of America, learning English, Voice of America, because it has it has transcriptions. Um, yeah. That's what uh, Danny, Danny says, uh, watch American shows so you can learn American accents you, and not British. I think he's joking mm, because I know yeah, Danny. So Voice okay. of America is, Voice of America does have American accents, as Danny yeah, says. Yeah, you need to listen to both. Says. My recommendation is listen to both of them because you're, you live in Europe. For most people that live in Europe, not only Spain, uh, you need to know both because you're going to hear both. So... Okay, so the, the next one is Elo. This is a very old site. Elo with three L's, I think is. Um, this one is a free website and it has all kinds of levels, but also beginners, uh, which is quite difficult to find. And it has many accents. It has American, British, New Zealand, all kinds of accents. So in, in the very short, you know, uh, listening recordings that are uh, in, on different topics, it's quite, Quite a good uh, website. Yeah, okay. the one the one Monica was 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 speaking about earlier. This is the website yeah, address v, v O A News. They have news yeah. in in easy English, and this is the one with the American accent. And of yeah. course, there's the BBC News also that yeah. you can listen to if you want Everybody a British accent. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yes. Let's move forward. Oh, I wanted to mention infographics or images. I am a fan of this, and the people that follow my blog and follow uh, my group on Facebook and all that, they know that almost every day I post images because it's much easier to remember vocabulary, you know, or even grammar. And for me, one, one very good site for this is the Cambridge blog multimedia. If you, if you type Cambridge uh, blog multimedia, you will get this, and you have very good image uh images with um for example grammar and and they have the translation into spanish also and explanations and they and they cover american english and british english as well though it's mm -hmm. cambridge um and the other uh, there are a couple of more websites that one is called one, one second one, one second monica bef before you go to the next one um maria has told us that audible is free right now. Now, Audible is very good. They have a lot of listenings of books that have been recorded and um, e-books that have been recorded. So you're listening to the book and it belongs to Amazon. Amazon bought Audible. It's a very, very good service, although I haven't used it, but many people I know, I know use Audible and uh, it's free right now. So thank you, oh, Maria. That's for, very good. I didn't know that. I, 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 I remember I tried it at the beginning, but it wasn't, it wasn't free. Mm -hmm. You had to Hey, you could try one book, I think, and that's it. That was yeah, it. Yeah, so go there now, yeah. download lots of books and practice your English with Audible <laughs> while it's free. While it's free, it's take, advantage. take advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, when you're doing exercise or you're doing something else or cooking, for example, yeah, that's perfect. You you just all – that's one of the things I do, you know, like podcasts. I wanted to mention also that some if you're an advanced student, you can also listen to – Podcasts like uh, American English, uh, stuff you should know, mm -hmm. uh, and Gary V for people that are that are into business and entrepreneurs and this. I, I had a lot of fun listening to those podcasts. Um, apart from Greg, of course, Craig is Craig, not Greg, Craig. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, it, it, because he's the best. Oh, okay. thank you. So, let's continue. <laughs> English well, grammar. What's what's this one, Monica? Uh, infographics, uh, as well, was, right? Uh, infographics. Yeah, images. English grammar. There's there's uh, there are several websites. I I believe they're from the same owner because they they look alike. They're almost the same, and they have all kinds of material. Like it's incredible. Visual aids for classrooms, like with with grammar, with verbs, with all kinds adjectives, nouns. And it's, one is, is English grammar here, and the other one is, is 7esl.com. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't know if we can later post all these links below the video on Facebook, all these I'll, links that we are mentioning. Yes, I will. I've got them here in a list, so okay. I will, so I'll, post can, them, I'll post them on you Facebook. You don't need to write them down so quickly, okay? Yeah, so. that's that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, okay. Another recommendation from 
Kahneman, um, Kahneman Boss, the Daily Show. The Daily Show is very, very good. That's uh, John Oliver. What is, it about? what is it about? I never heard about it's it. It's satire. It's a satirical take mm -hmm. or satirical uh, opinion about the news and what's happening in the world by a very funny British comedian, but it's from the US. Oh, no, no, I'm confusing things, aren't I, um, Maria? The Daily Show is not with John Oliver. John Oliver is the last week tonight or something. I'm confusing the two. The Daily Show is with an American accent. Yeah, it, it, it's Carmen. And John, John, John Oliver. Yeah. She John, says it's really funny. Yeah. I'm going to... Yeah. But is it is it a listening? Not, it's not a um, is it a podcast? It's, it's listening, but it's a video. So you're watching somebody oh, okay. as if they're reading the news, but it's very funny because it's um, satirical. It's a satire okay. on the news, yeah, but it does give you that. some information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Danny. Danny said he's South African. Um, John, uh, the guy who does what's his name, Danny, the guy who does um, the Daily Show now. I can't remember um, his name. South African. Well, South African accent is very different, <laughs> but probably it, he can yeah. he can imitate the American accent. But it's good to listen to different accents. Listen to American. Listen to South African, Australian, British, Irish, Scottish. As many different accents as possible will improve your listening because mm -hmm. it's difficult sometimes when you change from from accent to accent. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned your podcast, Monica, um, with David and yeah. uh, mine. There's also another. Very good podcast by our friend Luke. It's teacherluke.co.uk, Luke's English podcast. And I'll put this link also in the Facebook page when we finish. So that's another very well-recommended podcast that teaches you English. Luke's very funny. It's a solo podcast. He's an English teacher, um, and it's very entertaining. So, so try that one as well. One I one I do like for music, because music, obviously, if you're listening to music in English and you're reading the lyrics, that's a very good way of improving your English. Lyrics training. And it's fun. But it's the, fun. the website lyricstraining.com has exercises mm -hmm. in English as you're listening to the music. So you can and be it's listening. free, no? And it's, well, it's free, but you have to sign up for the app. So you have to sign up on the web on your laptop or computer or download the app on your mobile phone, sign up for it. It is free and you can practice your English while you're listening to your favorite songs and do exercises with the lyrics of the songs. So try that one. That's a very, very yeah, fun website. It. It's quite good. Yeah. It's quite good. It's been around for some time this. And YouTube channel. So, okay, you mentioned my channel. <laughs> uh, I try my best. Don't update too often, but I try my best. That's it, isn't and it? YouTube.com, El Blog de Inglés. And then we mentioned simple English videos that um, are friends. Yep. Um, Vicky. Vicky Hollett. And Vicky Hollett. Okay. Yeah, she's very and, good. Yes, yeah, she's a British teacher with uh, her husband, who's American. So you have both accents. Yep. And then you have a list here of phone apps. Of course, very well-known ones is Duolingo. Have you and used any of these with, or have your students mentioned any of these, Duolingo, Monica? Duolingo, many times. Uh, I have heard many times. And Busu, I know the owner of Busu. <laughs> really? Know, yeah. Uh, he's uh, from Austria. Mm -hmm. but he now lives in the UK. Uh, it's a very nice guy. And, and um, he started the, the business. Busu was started in Spain, but later he moved to, to London. And uh -huh. now I think the company is quite successful because they it's like a Facebook, but for, for languages. No? So we have, um, we have four here that, that we're recommending to you. Um, Duolingo, as Monica said, and Busu. Also, Memrise is very good for vocabulary, and Quizlet is very good for vocabulary. Memrise. How does it work? Memra I have not tried those. Uh, have you ever tried them? It's the Pelmanism system. The Pelmanism system is where you're shown mm. words and you're shown definitions and you mm. try to remember them and match them. And there are also combination of exercises. And in the app, there's an algorithm. As you're learning the words, you see the words less frequently. So the words you're not sure of, the words you keep making mistakes with, 
keep repeating more frequently. And as you're learning them, you don't see them as often. So that's a very good way of gradually learning your phrasal verbs. I was, I was reading about vocabulary. it. It was quite good. Is it free? I think so. Yes, as far as I know, it's free. It used to be free. I'm hoping it still is, but I'll put the links that, to all of those know? in the. Sorry? That, um, I'm just asking our audience if. if, if oh, if anybody knows. knows. Yeah, does anybody know if it is free? Because sometimes people don't want to pay. Okay. Sometimes, uh, yeah. or you pay, or sometimes it's free, but uh, you have to pay certain extra premium, you know? We've got some questions I'd like to answer. One is, uh, okay. do you post your podcast on Twitter? We post every Sunday. We release the podcast every Sunday. And I always post on Twitter when the podcast has been released. So if you're following us on Twitter, at Mansi on Twit, then you'll see when the podcast is live immediately. And then you can listen to it on the webpage or on your phone. If you've got an iPhone, use the podcast app. If you've got an Android phone, use Google Podcasts or a third party app for listening to podcasts. And if you are listening to podcasts, then download an app so that you can have all your English podcasts together in one place. And then as a new podcast is released, automatically it goes to your phone. So you subscribe to the podcast and you get it automatically and free. So what can be better than that? Um, what else do we have? Another recommendation, CNN. International. International. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good recommendation. Yeah. Oh, that's um, a great system you have, no? Yeah, you can see the question online. I like it. I'm trying to follow it. It's going very quickly. Yeah. There's another recommendation from Danny. He's who's, Danny? who's from Detroit. Oh, yeah. Curb yeah. Your Enthusiasm. It's on HBO if you have HBO. Many people and have Amazon that. Prime. And Amazon very Prime. Fun. And uh, I know Danny has a wonderful sense of humor, so I will be trying that. Hello, Luis, who's connecting from Navarra. Hi. Uh, oh, and Guillem asks again about the lyrics website. So let me try to find that's the one, Guillem. It's lyricstraining.com. Uh, it's very, very good for music and lyrics. And the... I think we've gone through the list. That's more or less it. Do you no, have any more Marlene? that you can think of? I have a um, uh, question from Marlene. Uh -huh. um, she said, Marlene Mena, hello, if you want to practice exercise for B2 exam preparation, can you recommend me a website? I think uh, Craig is the best one for that. Mansioningles.com? Well, we <laughs> yeah, or the blog part in English also you have a, a free course. There. Um, both, of our, both of our websites have help mm -hmm. for B2 exam preparation. So go to mansioningles.com and oh, uh, blog part up in their English. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let me let me find the banners for you. I'll put those up there. Um, so that's Monica. You can always ask questions. Huh? You can send questions. Um, so if you have any questions, please write them in the chat box. We'll try to answer them before we go. Yeah. Because it's oh, nearly so time. No, it's about half an hour been been here. No. Yes. It's nearly time for dinner in Spain. Yes. Yes. Um, so what are you having for dinner, Craig? Okay. Let's go um, sip it. That's a good question. I, I don't yeah. know. Probably white cheese and salad because I'm trying to lose weight. I've been eating too much chocolate. Every, <laughs> every time I, le I learn a Spanish verb, I eat some chocolate. Yeah, so yes. I to, <laughs> that's your reward. That's I, your have reward. To eat, I have to eat some salad and white cheese for dinner today. Yeah. <laughs> salad and white cheese. It's yeah, boring. boring. I know, yeah. yeah. I'm boring. Uh, I'm sorry. What can no, I, do? I don't think you're boring at all. Okay, let me see if there's any other question we can answer. Any other uh, questions before we leave you? I show. Uh, I don't think. What about C1 exercises? Uh, Patricia Hernandez Sanchez. Uh, do you C1 have any C1 exercises on a blog part in English? Mm, not really, because I focus more on intermediate but the 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 one you there's a very good website that is exam time was it exam i don't remember exactly you mentioned it for, exam english yes exam english i think it is yeah there you can find c1 and there's another one um but c1 it depends because uh, is it aoe or is it cambridge 
because sometimes people it's it, there, there is a difference you know you have to think well if, if you're doing a cambridge exam or just aoe because yeah, AOE is, is very specific huh? uh, we have a course for general advanced english on mansioningles.com so it's not specifically for the cambridge c1 advanced exam but it is more or less that level so if you are at advanced level if you are around c1 we've got a, a free course for you on the web page at mansioningles.com also this website is very good flowjo.co.uk uh, Flo that, that was the one that, that that was the one that i was thinking about that yeah, has specific exam practice for the cambridge c1 advanced exam the authors are are um i i think they are from examiners yeah from yeah the I think British so. but the website's be. very very the website's very very good and the exercises are out yeah. on the different levels mm -hmm. are very very well designed for that level for c1 for b2 for b1 so you will find exercises on that web page that are very good for for each level that's another recommended site. Another question here. Oh, uh, Nuria is suggesting Tandem uh, mm -hmm. app to practice with natives and is really useful. So it's suggesting that to practice speaking. Maria Barca, what about reading? What is the best way to read a book? Um, when I'm reading Spanish, it needs to be very slowly and when I read a, a book in Spanish or a blog post in Spanish, I don't stop every time there's a word I don't understand. If the word starts to bother me, if I see a word repeated three or four times, I'm like, what's that word? What does it mean? That's starting to annoy me. Then I check it in a dictionary. But don't stop and check every single word. It gets very heavy. You lose the idea of the text. So just try to focus on the words that keep repeating and you've got an interest to find out what that word means and try to guess the word from context. Sometimes you can guess the word from the other words around it. What could that word mean in the context of the sentence and then keep reading and try and find a book, as Monica said before, that you're interested in. So make sure you're looking for material. If you like photography, read a photography blog. If you're interested in travel, read a travel guide or a travel travel blog or magazine or listen to a travel podcast so make sure the material you're you're using in english is directly connected and related to your hobbies and interests otherwise it's boring no but also there are two ways of reading active and passive and you you were saying passive reading because you want to understand the context maybe the first time you read a book well i would say start with short books i mm -hmm. remember when i was trying to learn dutch i started with very very small books because it's daunting, you know, if you have to use <laughs> the novel that like Shakespeare or something like that, it's, it's that's not good. Yeah, that's why you have uh, graded readers, this, this series of, you know, in different levels. I always recommend the graded readers because you can choose the level, okay? And, and this is classic books, normally classic books. Mm -hmm. Usually everybody likes them because you know the story. Sometimes you, if you buy a new book, the story, maybe you don't like the story, so you leave it. In classic books, normally you know what you're going to find. And yeah. then you can decide, at the beginning it's just listening. I always recommend audio books. I don't like people just reading because when they start reading and they don't know how to pronounce, finally they just get the, the wrong pronunciation. It's very difficult to correct. So I always recommend audio books. For the for for and and now Maria also suggested that Audible this this um, the free uh, Amazon offer. site uh, you can use that for example look for something that is a hobby yeah. and and just listen what I do is I listen when I want to learn something for example marketing that I have no idea well I just go and listen and listen and listen one time two times three times until I get bored like I know everything about it. That's what I do, but you how, have to be patient. How are you for time, yeah. Monica? Because we have a few more questions in the chat room. Can you stay for uh, another for five okay. minutes? No, for me it's okay. I can continue. Just okay. Just, so we have a question from Adrian. Um, the uh, word no, though no, at the end of a yeah. sentence is something I can't use it as the natives, no matter how much I tried. Any suggestion? I'm not sure exactly what Adrian yeah. is asking there. Do you? 
the word dough, but no, dough is, the, it's, it's a filler. It's like in Spanish, we do the en, same. En, entonces, would it be? Yeah, like yeah. Dough? Dough, no, it's, no, dough is que, it's, dough, aunque, no? Aunque. It depends how you use it. You could say, I, I don't, I don't like, um, I don't like French movies, though. No me gusta mucho lo, lo, sí. no me gusta, no me gusta mucho lo. No me gusta, though I don't like it. So, for example, no, but the sometimes these words that are at the end of the sentence, there are some people that repeat them and repeat them because they use them as a filler. A filler in Spanish is a muletilla. Mm -hmm. So it's a word that, for example, the word okay, okay? The word, there, there are some people that, okay, okay, vale, like in Spanish, vale, vale, vale. It's a word, and though I think falls sometimes into this category, or for some people, I, 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 I didn't I remember when there was one word, where was the word? There's one word in American English that, oh, really? <laughs> this, this, this expression, this is American English. Oh, mm -hmm. really? <laughs> every word you say, every sentence you say, oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh. It's difficult to explain the meaning, but it's very common, but, though. So that though, though is, though. is on, en, entonces, I would say maybe entonces with it as a translation. Yeah. So, yeah, it's difficult to, I mean, it's, it's difficult to get the use of that. Um, mm -hmm. What else do we have here? I want to improve my listening. What do you recommend? Well, the already, podcasts already, that we've recommended already. and the other websites that I will paste in the yeah, we will Facebook paste page at the end. Don't worry, yeah. all of the resources that we've mentioned just now, I will put in the Facebook Facebook page after we finish this this live uh, stream. Oh, so what it mentions as a as a filly, filler, como uh, muletilla, you know, you know. Yeah. We had a friend who said that. We were always saying to him. Don't say you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say you know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He was always saying, you know, you know, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, okay. anyway, I think we should finish it there. Yes. Thank you very, very okay. much to everyone who Thank has you. joined. It's been a lot of fun. We hope that you, you are not too bored at home and okay. that you have some ideas for you to practice your English. So, Thanks okay. for thanks for joining and thanks for connecting tonight and hopefully we'll do this again very soon. Okay, thanks for joining too. Um, so Monica from blogdenglez.com, go and listen to her podcast and visit her website. And uh, I'm Craig from inglespodcast.com and from mansioningles.com. Any final words, Monica? Well, just to say thank you. I really appreciate this invitation because the idea was from Craig and I, I never, this is my first Facebook live. <laughs> I've never tried it before. And so it was my, my first and, time, my first time using this software and it's gone. No. Okay. Much, much <laughs> better than the open zoom class. <laughs> much, much nicer. <laughs> and much better. Really <laughs> it's just okay, a shame. So we can't bring people in anyway. Thank you for watching. We'll, we'll speak One to you time. soon. You take care. Okay, bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye.